dream jobs. Have you ever imagined the perfect job? What did you choose? Here are the three that will be on the list. The sweetest job. Suzels is a company in Britain that makes sweets. The sweets are made in the company factory in Manchester, in the north of England, and they are written by cats of all of the country. How the Wilshire is one of the company's employees, but he was 12 years old. His job, probably the best job in the factory. He is the company's official sweet tester. When a new sweet is in the edit, it's made in a special department in the factory, all very secret. Then the new sweet in the center hurry shows to him to test. He eats it, writes a report about it, and sends its report to the factory. And then a decision is made about whether to make the sweet or not. Is he afraid of the job? Well, no, he isn't paid because it is too young to work for money. But he gets his treats. Harry says, when I signed the job, I feel like I was in the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Harry has got especially uniform and business cards. He's got a really sweet job, you might say. <coughs> That's the island blogger. Would you like to look after an island in the specific situation? About 35,000 people applied for the job. But Ned South got it. How is this chosen? Well, after Ben showed the DDT was good blogging in the swimming, there wasn't TV. He was the lost his TV had the right kind and personality for the job, and he did. So what did Bit Bad have to do with his job? It was hard work. He had to live on his known in the three bedroom villa with a swimming pool on a hammer to Nigel and spent every day swimming, exploring and relaxing. And he had to block to promote the area <coughs> but since he paid a hundred and eleven thousand dollars for six months work. The people he worked for liked it very much. After him to the fridge body island, he became to store since the ambassador to the state of Greenland, Australia, <coughs> sleeping on the job. Usually sleeping on the job is a big problem for an employee. If you fall asleep, you'll be fired. But Roisin Medigan from Birmingham, UK, was paid to sleep on the job. She tested luxury beds. Her machine was paid £1,000 to sleep in the dark beds every day for a month. A company that makes beds for luxury hotels wanted to know more what about the extra good night's sleep. Rusheen was selected to spend up to 8 hours in the day in a bed, then we worried about it. Over 600 people applied for the job. But Roy was chosen, of course, it was Lily or Sheen to sleep on the job. <laughs>